Hey everyone, it's John here. And in this video, we're gonna take a look at three different ways that you can get country flags into Excel. Now, make sure you stick around for the last one because it is awesome. Let's take a look. The first method we're gonna take a look at for getting flags into Excel is using a geography data type. So here we've got a list of countries and what we can do is convert these into a geography data type. And within that data type, we're going to also get the country's flag. So all we need to do is select our list of countries and go up to the data tab. And here in the data type section, we've got this geography option. And when we click on that, it's going to convert our countries into a geography data type. So we can tell this is now a data type as it's got this little map icon next to it, each country. And when we click on that, it's gonna open up a data card with various information about that country. And as you can see, it also includes the country's flag at the top here. Now, if we wanna get the flags from each of these, we can select our list of data types. And at the top here, we're gonna get this extract button and we can click on that and extract any of the pieces of information from our data type. And here we can select the image option and that's going to give us all of our flag images. Now we can also use this to get state or province flags. For example, here, if we click on the Canada data card, then we've got this subdivisions options. And if we click on the extract button for that, it's gonna give us a list of our provinces for Canada. And then within each of those, we're gonna be able to extract the flag for that province. The next method we're gonna take a look at is to insert an image inside of a cell. So to do this, we just need to select the cell where we wanna place our flag image and then go up to the insert tab. And we've got this option here to insert pictures and we can choose to place the picture inside of a cell. And this is gonna give us various options from where to get our image. So we can get our image from our device or we can use stock images or we can also search online for a picture. So in this case, we're gonna search online and this is going to allow us to search for whatever flag we want. And when we press enter, it's gonna give us various options and we can choose the one we want and click on insert. And that's gonna place our flag image in our cell. Now, the last method we're gonna take a look at is using the image function to get country flags. So here we've got a list of all of the countries and along with their two digit alpha code, and from this, we're going to get the flag emoji and then convert that into an image. So here we're gonna use a formula to convert our two digit alpha code into the corresponding emoji. And so here our formula is doing exactly that. So this formula is converting our two digit alpha code into the required Unicode characters. Now, unfortunately, Excel desktop doesn't generate these Unicode characters as the emoji, but we can convert these into an image of the emoji with the image function using an API service. So here's a custom Lambda function that takes our flag emoji or any emoji for that matter, and then constructs the required URL using the concat function in order to call the API service and convert that emoji into an image. Once we've got that URL, then we can use the image function with the URL to generate the image of our flag emoji. We can then simplify this process by creating our own custom Lambda function with the name manager. So all we need to do is call something like the flag function, and it's going to convert our two digit code into the flag image. So to create our custom flag Lambda function, we can go up to the formula tab and in the name manager, we can create a new name. And here we've got this flag name created. 
And then here we can just give the name for our function, in this case flag. And then in the refers to section goes our lambda function. And that's going to allow us to call this simplified flag function instead. So there you go, three ways to get flag images for countries into Excel. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit the thumbs up button and subscribe to the channel for future Excel videos like this one. That's it for this video. We'll see you in the next one.